I had some time to really think about this topic that I'm about to discuss with y'all when I was on my way home from the gym. Like I even started putting thoughts in my head together of what I was going to say after I read the initial article because I already kind of figured where this was headed. So recently on the Red Table Talk, which is a Jada Pinkett Smith show, along with her daughter, Willow Smith and her um, mother, Willow Smith basically came out and said that she felt that her and her brother, Jaden Smith, felt shunned by the black community because they were, quote unquote, too different. Like they were in their own unique space that black people really couldn't accept or gravitate towards. And before I go into my assessment about it, I'm going to just go ahead and read the article and then I'm going to break down what I believe about this. Because I've heard this rhetoric before, so I already know where it's headed. Willow Smith spoke candidly about feeling like an outcast during a new episode of her online TV show, specifically with the African-American community. I kind of felt like me and Jaden were shunned like a little bit, like we're not going to take pride in them because they're too different. The 19 year old singer said of her and her brother during the latest episode of Red Table Talk on Facebook Watch released Tuesday. Even some of our family members, I would feel they thought you're too different. She added during the new episode of RTT. Willow sat down with her co-host, her mother, Jada Pinkett Smith, and grandmother, Adrian Banford, Banfield Norris, to discuss mom shaming. Willow Smith's comments about feeling judged by the black community came after, after Jada said that the first time she got hardcore mom shame was when her younger daughter shaved her head at 11 years old. Willow Smith later said she underwent the drastic transformation as an act of rebellion after the success of her 2010 song, Whip My Hair. She also went on to dye her hair green and later pink. pink uh, Jada said during the discussion that the mom shaming didn't end there. She also felt backlash from the public as Jaden got older. Specifically, the girls trip star recalled the negative attention that family received when her son wore a skirt for Louis Vuitton's 2016 women's wear campaign. When he was wearing a skirt, then he wasn't. He isn't what people consider your typical black man, Jada Pinkett Smith said. Jaden has continued to challenge fashion norms over the years by wearing heeled shoes to the 2010, I'm, I'm sorry, 17 Met Gala, dying a Batman suit to Kim Kardashian and Kanye West's 2014 wedding and sporting the outfit again at a prom in 2015. And in 2016, the actor launched a gender neutral clothing line called MSFT Rep. S Rep. Speaking with Variety, Jaden said that the collection was made for the girl that wants to be a tomboy or the boy that wants to wear a skirt and people tried to condemn. Two years later, he commented again on his fashion sense by tweeting, if I want to wear a dress, then I will. And that will set the new wave. You know, what's scary about that. It is like it is a very interesting wave that actually has been going on for quite some time. That's the scary part about it. It's something that we as a community really have to learn to let go of, the actress said. I know that people felt like it's dangerous. You cannot afford to raise your children this way because it's dangerous. You know what it's like to be a black or brown person in this world. You were doing your kids a disservice. Jada went. Con Jada continued, I understood where that fear came from. But I also understood from having been on the streets and having been not your conventional black girl in the streets of Baltimore. I knew that self-confidence is what helped me survive. So that's what Jada, uh, what Willow put out there. Um, some quotes also came from Jaden. I'm sorry, Willow and Jaden as well. Now, y'all just heard me read that article to answer Willow Smith's question or why she felt like or not so much a question, but her statement of why she feels that her brother and herself feel shunned from the black community. Just listen to what I just read. She was 11 years old when her parents allowed her, well, it says her mother, allowed her to shave her head at 11. She was making grown woman or allowed to make grown woman decisions at 11 that most traditional 11 year old girls, black girls, aren't even allowed to do. Not even if they even tried. And she was able to act grown at such a very young age it was like she wasn't being a girl growing up it's almost like she was a woman trapped in a girl's body then it goes on to talk about you know Jaden smith and his fashion choices like dude you wore a louis vuitton dress 
or skirt to a Louis Vuitton event. Then you wore a Batman suit to a Met Gala. And then you wore it again. Then you wore it again at Kanye West and Kim Kardashian's wet. No, you wore the Batman suit to Kim Kardashian and Kanye West's wedding. And you wore it again at a prom. And then you wore Hill shows at a Met Gala. What was people supposed to say about that? Like, who wears a Batman suit to someone's wedding or to a prom? This isn't a costume party. And then you wore a skirt. And then you said you wanted to create a gender neutral line and everything like that for every girl that feels like a tomboy or every boy that wants to wear a skirt. That's not something that a lot of people will gravitate towards every single day. To me, it seems that Willow and Jaden went out of their way to be different and was banking that people, especially black people, would accept it. But truth be told, uh, people who think like them, mainly probably those who are PC, are the ones that agree with it. And even some of them probably don't agree with it because I don't know anybody who has worn anything that Jaden Smith has created. I even know he had a clothing line until just now. Now, let's go to the parents right quick because it's always been a question about the parenting styles that Will and Jada have raised these two in particular, not so much his oldest son. His oldest son, you really don't ever hear anything about. Like, he kind of stays out of the spotlight to the point where sometimes people forget that Will Smith has a son older than both of them from his previous marriage. But, yes, he does have an older son. Now, Will and Jada, they didn't grow up with a silver spoon in their mouth. Will Smith is from Philly. Jada is from Baltimore. That's all that really needs to be said. They amassed wealth, mainly him. So his family, his kids, his offspring would not have to struggle, which is why his oldest son, whose name is Trey Smith, and Jada, Jaden and Willow did not have to struggle. They grew up in a lap of luxury. So right there, they were already going to be different. The traditional average black person living in America does not grow up the same way in the same style that they do. It would be nice. We would probably be in a better place financially. That's for damn sure. But there is no way we're like we're in two different spaces. We're in two different worlds. But. Willow and Jaden, based on the article I just read, went out of their way to be too different. It's not like it's, the thing is like they created their own lane and was hoping everybody was going to jump in. You even heard in the article where it stated that even some family members. That means people who are blood, flesh and blood related kin to them, even said that their behavior is a little off. But like I said, that all goes back to raising the parenting. You know, that goes back to how Will and Jada decided to raise their kids and they let them raise them. They raised their kids in a way where they allowed them to be free and open and expressive to do whatever it is they want all before they were 18. The traditional black household does not allow their children to do that, mainly because they don't have the luxury to do that. See, they live in a lifestyle that allows them and affords them the opportunity to do those type of things. The average black family cannot. That's another reason why we cannot relate to or the or maybe even the average black teen cannot relate to them. The last time I think black people really gravitated towards Willow Smith well, black women and girls was when she had that Whip My Hair song. That was a huge song 10 years ago. It was, it was everywhere. Like, I remember I was in college and that song came out and every girl that I knew then who was like 18 to 22 was singing the song that was put out by a little girl who was only like, what, 10 at the time. I believe she was 10. And it was like, wow, that's interesting. But then it's like after that, they said through rebellion, she was allowed to shave her head at 11 years old. How many black girls do you know out there that's allowed to go and just grab a razor or some scissors and or go to the barbershop and just shave her head? Like, you don't know many that will, you know, that will do that. That's just like. 
uh, what's his name? Dwayne Wade with his son, the one that they want everyone to call Zaya right now. We can't relate to that. How many black people, you know, on average is a raising their child or their son as a girl and telling people and telling the world to call them this and not that? Because Dwayne Wade grew up a certain way. But his kids don't have to, but they won't really know how it is to really identify with us on this level. And what it is, is they are trying to bring. See, here's the thing. They try to call this uniqueness, but it is something that's completely different. It's completely foreign. And they try to thrust it onto us and make us accept it. But when we don't, then they'll come out and with the, the crocodile tears and say, we're being shunned by the black community. When I hear that, you know what it's also telling me? That the black community is toxic and that everyone else welcomes us with open arms. And Willow, if that's what you're saying, you've never really had us from the get go then, to be quite honest. I'm just being 100 percent honest. And as transparent as I possibly can, you never really had us at all. You may have had us just for a little bit, but not much. The only people that's connected to you that re- that we really gravitated towards was your dad and to an extent your mother. That's about it. When they're pretty much done with their careers or they pass on, no one's going to be really checking for the Smith family like that. I'm just being completely honest. And the reason why we connected to your parents is because of the era we grew up in. Many of us grew up throughout the 90s. And, you know, that's when the height of the popularity of your parents were was throughout the 90s, especially their dad. But we can't really identify with them. Maybe it's because of age thing. A lot of us like looking. Imagine me listening to something from Willow Smith and Jada Smith at my age. I can't identify with them because of the age thing. Like they they cater to a different audience. Like they cater to children who were born in 2000 and up and probably 2005 and up or 2010 and up. I can't identify. I just can't. And like I said, a lot of the stuff that he puts out there and I'm talking about Jaden Smith. He is geared to a certain demographic, and I think we know which demographic that is. Like, I really can't identify. The last time I think I identified with anything Jaden Smith did was when he was in the Karate Kid with Jackie Chan back. And that was in 2010, the same year that she came out with, with my hair. And we was, and that was a good, that was a decent year for both of them. We were like, Oh wow. You know, the Smith family, like their offspring is doing something, but then it just turned weird. I'm just, just putting it like it is. It turned weird to me. And the thing is, I'm not the only one that feels that way. It's plenty of other people that feel the same exact way. So you can't say that black people shunned you and everything like that, because here's the thing, Willow Smith, you might want to watch your words because it might be a day when you're going to hope that the black people have your back on something or support you in something. And we're going to come back to this video or to this article or to that Red Table Talk episode where you said that you and your brother felt like you were shunned by the black community because you were too different. And then it's going to be like, remember what you said about us and us shunning you? Well, there it is. And mind you, Willow Smith, she's 19 now. She's 19. And I think Jaden is like 22. I think there's like a two year age difference between the two of them, if I'm not mistaken. Two or three years. So. But, you know, if that's how she feels, it is what it is. But like I said, she should be real careful with the words that she chooses to say when she says stuff like that. But y'all let me know what you think.